For centuries, we studied the planet Jupiter with instruments like this. But if you're like me, and I know I am, you want to know more. And in order to know more, we've got to get a spacecraft up close. But Jupiter is fantastically far away, way out there. So how do we do it? <laughs> so if you're like me, you want to know more about all those planets out there. So to that end, we built the Juno spacecraft to study the planet Jupiter. Juno was Jupiter's wife in Roman mythology. And we launched the Juno spacecraft from Earth way back in 2011. Now, like everything else the government does, we were on a budget. So we had to use a rocket that already existed. So we chose the good old Atlas V. We launched it from the Earth way out into space beyond the orbit of Mars. And today, it's falling back toward the Earth. And we're going to use the orbital motion of the Earth and this flyby of the Juno spacecraft to get enough energy to escape the pull of the Earth and, more importantly, the pull of the Sun. Like this. But see, it's in outer space. There's no air, so there's no sound. So it goes like this. And it's going to fly by the Earth on October 9th. Now, Jupiter isn't as close as these two planets on this table. Jupiter is way out there, fantastically far out there. It's that far away. So Juno won't arrive there until 2016. In 2016, it will go into orbit around Jupiter. And using its suite of sophisticated instruments, Juno will study this planet. We'll learn more about what Jupiter's made of and how it formed. And when we learn that, we'll know more about where we came from, how we all got here. With this small spacecraft, we could, dare I say it, change the world! <laughs> 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 <laughs>